What's up guys, Leopold the Brave here, and it's time to answer some more questions. These ones were definitely a lot better, but I still think some of you have, um, personal and weird confused. <laughs> because there's a lot of really awkward questions there that aren't really personal, they're just like, what? But anyways, let's get started and stop wasting time or whatever. Alright, first question. Supermew9001 asks, what's my favorite type of juice? Mmm, grape juice. Grape juice, I love grape juice, but like, natural grape juice. Like that super good, um, well, I don't think it's natural at all. Maybe not. I don't, I don't know. It's the Welch's grape juice. It just tastes so good. Not like that nasty, sugary Kool-Aid grape juice that's just like, yeah. <laughs> Question number two. What is my least favorite episode of Universes? I would have to say probably Ermac versus Tatsumaki because they're not two very special characters in their own series and the outcome was a bit too obvious. I mean, it's Ermac versus Tatsumaki, a dude who can lift up like maybe a couple boulders versus someone who can lift several buildings in part of the street. Gee, I wonder who's going to win that one. So yeah, that one was pretty... It, it was mostly because it was anticlimactic. I can't really think of a universe that I really dislike yet. So, but that's a good sign. Because with fictional fights, I was like, meh, this could have been better. But with universes, I'm like, you know what? This was pretty good. So yeah, Ermac vs. Tatsumaki is least my least favorite universes episode. Kahe Wong asks, um, when do I stop going to my job of training? <laughs> Sorry, that was super racist. Uh, <laughs> um... Uh, I'm not exactly sure, but from what I've heard, it's maybe 50 days, and it's, um, four days a week, so that would make it, since I started late April, that means it'll probably be over early July, early to mid-July, it's what I'm estimating, so hopefully by early to mid-July, I'll be out, and I'll be able to work on universes again. Question number two, do Hira or Vic, uh, do Hira and or Vic help in any way with universes. Um, no, because they are fictional characters. I do the whole thing myself. Well, I guess Vic technically does help because I am Vic. Woohoo! So yeah, that's the thing. And then question number three. By your name, can I guess where you are from? Or oh, I have to say Korea! Kahe Wong! K-Man Carberry, whoa, how do you keep getting in these Q&As, dude? Anyways, K-Man Carberry asks, which fictional food do I wish were real? Okay, I know it was a really terrible cartoon and it has no redeeming qualities, but um, when I was 11 or 9 or whatever and couldn't tell the difference between a good and bad cartoon, I used to watch Fanboy and Jump Chomp. Chom. <laughs> and there was this one, like, um, frozen drink called I looked it up real quick. It's Frosty Freezy Freeze or something like that. And it just always looks so good. I, I like super frozen drinks. Like, I don't like smoothies or anything, but I like the Icy's that you can get at Quick Trip or um, the Frosties at Wendy's. So the Frosty Freezy Freeze always looked super good to me, even though it was from a terrible cartoon. Question number two. What's an obscure character I love? Um, Croc. I wish he'd make a revival. He has a sequel game, a uh, game on the Game Boy, and of course the original PS1 game. And I think he has a couple others too, but I'm not sure. But definitely Croc. I even used him in a Universes episode. And question number three. What came first, the chicken or the egg? Well, there's two reasons why I believe the chicken came first. One is because I am a Christian, so I believe that God made all the animals. And he obviously made the chickens first. And... Of course the chicken would have to come first, because if there was an egg first, it couldn't turn into a chicken, because there'd be no one there to take care of it. The, the baby chicken side would just die. It needs a chicken to take care of the egg, so it can become another chicken. So obviously the chicken, the chicken came first. <laughs> there you go. Black Darkness 679 asks, Which video game genre do I hate the most? And my answer for that would have to be JRPGs. You know, I play games for fun gameplay. RPGs have no gameplay. It's just read, press A. Read and press A. I mean, they try to appear as if they have strategy, but all you really gotta do is just keep hitting attack and then heal when your health is low. That's really it. I've never had any trouble in any JRPG I've played. There's no strategy despite the illusion of one. Grinding is not strategy. It's just a way to make the game last longer. 
<sighs> Anyways, next question. Ooh, went on a mini rant. What do I think of the next death battle? Eh, not really interested. I mean, I like Sub-Zero, but I don't know the other guy. And I don't care enough about Sub-Zero to be overly hyped about this. Um, he's not my favorite Mortal Kombat character. And uh, third question. Who's the cheaper final boss, Azazel or Jinpachi? Mm, definitely Azazel, because sometimes your hits barely do anything, and sometimes his moves are unbreakable. I mean, yeah, Jinpachi can stun you, but he's really easy. If you you can you can cheese out Jinpachi way easier than you can cheese out Azazel. So yeah, Azazel is definitely the worst one. Brayden Leduck Dod asks, "What are my thoughts on Ed's World? I love Ed's World, and it's very sad what happened to Ed Gould." Gold, gold, gold. I'm really sorry. I don't know how to. Uh, uh, is the L silent? I don't. <laughs> I have issues with his last name. I can't stand silent L's. They always trip me up. <clears throat> Second question What's my favorite food? Tuna casserole! Woo! I know people like big fancy steak dinners, and I know some people think seafood is gross, but no, just slap a big serving of tuna casserole on my plate and I'm happy. <laughs> question number three. Will Cartoon Network heroes appear on universes? Of course. Like I said, there's not really a true limit to who can uh, be on there. I mean, I may, I may not do religious figures or anything because that would, that would be more offensive and stuff. I mean, I don't really care if I offend people, but there is, there is a limit. There is still a boundary where it's just like, come on, man, don't do that. So yeah, Cartoon Network heroes could totally appear. I mean, I've already used Jasper, who's a Cartoon Network character. You know, from Steven Universe, so why not? Kyle Baird asks, what do I think of Gamergate? Um, I actually have no idea what that was at first. I mean, I heard the name before, but I didn't really look into it. So a quick Bing search didn't give me very helpful results, but from the small description it had, it seems like an SJW thing. That uh, SJW support or whatever, so if it's an SJW thing, then I don't like it. <laughs> the glitchy pixel asks, "Am I adopted?" No. Why would I be adopted? <laughs> uh, let's see. He asks, "What makes me cringe?" Um, lots of old fictional fights episodes, definitely. Like, like Danny versus Jake. Cause that one's wrong now. Thank goodness. Thank goodness that one's finally wrong. Because there was this crossover short with all of Butch Hartman's characters, and Danny's. Danny's uh, thermos worked on the fairies, which means he, he can get he can capture more than just ghosts. He can capture magical creatures too, which includes Jake. So Danny beats Jake finally. Ah, uh, ah! Uh. I love saying that. Every chance I get to say that, I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say yes. It's finally wrong. Danny beats Jake. Yes, yes, yes. You can just suck him up with the thermos. Thermos. What's a thermos? And question number three: comedy or drama? I prefer comedy, because even if the comedy's bad, it can still be hilariously bad. Meanwhile, if the drama is bad, it's just... Ugh, it's just a waste of time. So, definitely comedy. Z-Dog S asks, Can we be friends? Of course! What's my favorite food combination at Subway? Or topping, or filling? Whatever you call it when you put stuff in a sandwich. Um, I'm not a huge sandwich or sub person, so I usually just get tuna, just... Nothing but tuna on Italian urban cheese bread. It's so good. I mean, I know that's boring just plain tuna with nothing else, but It's what I like so don't judge. Y'all, I'll make my own sandwich if you've seen the if anyone sees seen the game grumps uh, it's Subway rant video. Anyways question number three. Do I ever go back and watch any fictional fights episodes for nostalgia? Of course, just the, only the good ones <laughs> like Jin versus Ryu and Poe vs. Aang, and Jiraiya vs. Roshi, and Buzz vs. Fox. Those are all very, very good ones that I really enjoy. And Scout vs. Tracer, of course, my most accurate one. <laughs> well, Jin vs. Ryu is probably my most accurate one. And Buzz vs. Fox. Okay, okay, all my favorites are accurate ones, but th of course there are some inaccurate ones like Stephen vs. Dipper, and then that's Saitama vs. Doku, which thankfully got taken down for copyright. I had an excuse to actually delete it. Thank goodness, that thing is off YouTube forever. Unless someone downloaded it. <laughs> JJ Slider asks, Have I played Breath of the Wild and have I enjoyed it? Of course I've played it and of course I've enjoyed it. I have completed it pretty much... Well, uh, I've completed decently compared to most people. Uh, compared to the main game. Because the main game is actually super duper short. M most of the 100% stuff is like just 
hunting Korak seeds in shrines, just repetitive stuff like that, so... The main game itself was very enjoyable and it was fun to run around and all that, but... The shrines and Korak seeds just doing that forever kind of gets tiring after a while. But yes, overall I really did enjoy the game. It's fantastic, it's beautiful, it's fun. And yeah, question number two. What would I like to see become a death battle? Definitely more Naruto characters. I don't have a specific one, but definitely more Naruto characters. I mean, they probably got it wrong last time with Gaara vs. Toph, uh, but I'd love to see more Naruto characters, basically. Just more Naruto. We gotta have more Naruto. That's, that's the best thing. And then last question. Um, who is the prettiest girl I have ever done the deed with? And the answer to that is none. I have not done the deed yet. I am waiting till marriage. Thank you very much. And that is all the time we have for today. Send more spicy questions.